everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video you're going to watch me design a makeup brand from scratch so this is the reimagine challenge a challenge whereby you imagine your favorite childhood cartoon to be a modern day brand so one of my favorite childhood cartoons is dexter's laboratory and i'm going to be rebranding it into a present day elegant modern makeup brand and we're going to be going the old nine yard nine yard from sketching to mood boarding and creating products products label for this brand so stick around i hope you find this video helpful and subscribe to my youtube channel first thing first research and strategy this is where you research all about the client obviously their niche the industry where they want to launch this product or services who are their key competitions who are their key audience what's their unique selling point keywords associated with their brand this is very important in creating a logo design because it helps with the whole process this is they call it word mapping i think so so for dexter's lab i make sure that okay my target audience are people as male and female in their 20s to their 40s it's a fun simple elegant yet modern brand and i want it to be affordable but not cheap but affordable not like it. it's not it's not a luxurious brand so it's not going to have that luxurious feel this word mapping helps with the old um logo design so here i'm just sketching logo i forgot to feel my mood body process but moods words are very important in design process of creating a brand it helps it helps you figure out the visual direction for the brand and also give your client options it helps them narrow down what to expect from you so after researching and all of that strategy you have to find inspiration for for the visual system of this brand and inspiration looking for inspiration is not always mostly people use behance dribble but it's not limited to those sites there are various things like you put on your mood board you consider on your mood board the colors typography imagery packaging patterns and so many things just mood board it so yeah back to the me jumping right into illustrator after i failed sketching process so yeah during I apologize for the air quality is raining heavily and I just have to record this. So while researching for researching the industry, I found out that the font or the typeface used in, in for this for makeup brands are mainly that they, they have this elegant feel, luxurious feel to it. And they are different. They are very different. That of Urban Decay, they, they chose to pair their fronts with like a, a gothic font and a sans serif font so for dexter slab i was like okay this brand i'm not going to make it look so elegant i'm going to use a a, a, a serif font make it look i don't know someone said a it looks like a um, clinical sans serif font so yeah i just chose this font and now i want to customize it because you, you should always customize and manipulate your front to customize this font i'll be using the rectangle tool and the shape builder tool to customize this font you can use any tool to customize your font pencil tool pen tool the rubber tool direct selection tool you can use absolutely anything whatever creative direction you're taking so I'm, I'm just making use of the um rectangle tool to like give it a clean cut i don't want i don't want those fits there like i said i want it to look like a um, make it urban I said urban make it modern and it's not going to be like very luxurious or when I say elegant luxurious yeah make it look clinical so yeah just going in on each of the letters and cleaning them out I've zoomed in into the into the letters to like give it a clean cut because after using the rectangle tool it wasn't that all that smooth so I'm using the smooth tool to just smooth the edges and refine it to make everything look good. After successfully cutting off their feet 
I want to round the edges. I want to make it. I don't want to look. I don't. Want, I don't want it to be pointy. I want it to have like refined edges. Let it be round. So I'm just using the direct selection tool to like round it off. Each of the letters. So yeah. So I select these letters and group them and after designing this I felt it was too plain. I decided to try other method out but clearly it wasn't working out for me. It wasn't because this this logo, this second logo I was creating, it is so idiot. Like I don't know what I was thinking when I was creating this. What do you think about this? It doesn't fly as a as a makeup logo makeup brand logo would you buy from this kind of brand i also tried creating the icon logo mark for it but it wasn't looking um it wasn't going with the going with the vibe i wanted for this brand you know unlike fenty beauty or band decay Uda beauty that has this their initials of hb this one wasn't just doesn't click in doesn't go in with the identity i planned for it so i just deleted it off and let me just stay with this word mark distance lab it looks plain but when we put it in use you know that it is a very like versatile logo so right now i want to i've duplicated my artboard i want to generate color palettes for this brand One of the surest ways of building a of building a brand palette, especially when your brand or your whole strategy is based on a character or a story, is to take colors from the reference image. So from this for this Dexter slab, I'll be picking out colors using the eyedropper tool from Dexter's character, from Dexter's laboratory character, that's Dexter, Didi, and their mom. These colors i feel these colors are, are stylish like they are they are modern they are not you know we're not going for a for a um luxurious feel it doesn't have to be like that gold you know mostly when you think about luxury you think about gold you think about silver you think about white or black but this is a very modern brand it's fun so i'm picking colors from dexter's glove Gigi's hair her shoes and these colors are quite fun and muted if you want if you want to go bright you can go bright if you want darker colors there's a deep purple there's a deep blue for it so it's just however you want to interpret these colors you can i'm just using the eyedropper tool to test colors check their tones the you this when 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 designing your process is not always i think i've said this before it's not always like straight is not always there's so much um the process is rough you get till you arrive at the final neat project i was while i was designing this i was wondering okay can i pull this color off this color looks odd for a makeup for a makeup brand like how will i pull off this brand but let's let's see how i put these colors to use let's see how you put these colors to use like yeah so just moving around the rectangles and so after creating these colors I've duplicated my artboards I want to put these colors put this logo on the colors so let's see how it looks like when I when I put you know this blue color on the pink this how it will look like if to look like modern and stylish as i want let's, let's put in the colors
black actually looks good on all the colors actually black look, looks good on anything so now let's just put other colors and another thing i want to make use of in this branding is gradients gradients it's i feel it to look cool on their product packaging and also the colors like it gives the colors more life you know i said you can pair anyhow you want to interpret the color you can inter interpret the color so joining two different colors together to like get um the gradients for this for this orange um, orangish yellow i just use the colors from the palette that we generated this one the deep purple blue and the deep blue then the pink deep pink and the light pink and the color looks good the color looks good it looks good i was already creating a brand um what's it called case study or brand guide here what was i doing So I think what I was trying to do here was to put the logo to use. Yes, we'll be using lots of image imagery in this makeup looks in this uh, branding because that's what it's about. You notice I don't have a brand pattern. We don't have a. We are basically using the colors and image to sell this brand. So I'm trying to put my logo to use to look how it will look like. And for these images, we are going to be making them. All of them have this similar look. That's why I'm using this gradient overlay on it. I'm going to change the blending mode to make it look. We use the opacity to to make it look like it's just give it this coherent look with the colors like because you don't want it to be too different look at just the plain one and you see when i added the um overlay on it how it looks like to make it just look cool with the brand fit the aesthetics we are going for with the brand i think this 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 it looks good then um I was already creating a case study here. Here, I was trying to create this magazine look, this magazine layout type of imagery, trying to blend the blend the typography and pictures together and how well the logo fits and i think it fits quite well this pink one is really really i'm um, it's giving me life i'm liking it so i also create um i created a b i don't know why my my audio keeps cutting off but while i was saying i created a case study and published it on beans so if you're interested in seeing the full presentation of this branding i'll link it in the description box below so you can check it out and give me your likes and comments so the last stage of this branding is the use of mockups. Mockups, mockups gives you a visual representation of what your 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 logo or your design would look like in real life when printed because it is using like real life scenarios. So I'll be using those mockups. This is a case study I was preparing for for Beans, which I've published already. So do check it out. So guys, that's it for this video. In the next 30 seconds, I'll be showing this little video of brand unveiling promotional video i did for this brand so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and comment below what was your favorite part of this whole branding section branding section thank you guys i will see you in my next video bye